And then how are they paying for user authentication? But what limited value feedback are they getting? Zero. So here's the thing. When, when you go to sign in with a service, you're going to say, I'm going to permission my Google data over to this company. I have no way to extract that data mm -hmm. from that company if I don't want it there anymore, but I'm going to permission it over so that one, Google knows who I am and two, the company knows who I am and that'll authenticate me into this new service. So I use this awesome, you know, internet wide service of OAuth 2.0 you know, with Google's brand name on or Facebook. But what happened? I gave my data away for free. It gave me a quick login process, but after that, it's doing me no good. There's no, there, there's no direct benefit. The only benefit was a quick sign up. Yeah. And what you're doing is you're giving the benefit to Google rather than giving the benefit to yourself. Well, you're giving the user data to Google. And you're giving the user data to Google. So, and you're also telling Google. Yes. Like what information you guys are storing on your system you're giving them direct access and insight to read into what your needs are that's a, that's insane yeah why would exactly. you ever tell some third party company what you guys are proprietarily trying to do well and also i, I think it, what's so unique about data vault connect is we have a complete i'm going to use a buzzword here but a paradigm shift where it becomes a revenue center and this is where i want you to get mm -hmm. into what each login generates through our profit sharing model